The upside down flag means the the organization that's represented by the flag, the nation or whatever, is in distress. And this nation is in distress. We've reached a point of defiance that no nation has been able to go to without being destroyed. Defiance of God. Our message is clear. This is where you've gone wrong. You spit in God's face and everything else is symptoms. It's it's rotten at the core. I mean look we can't build prisons fast enough. We can't, we can't deal with all the crisis that we have day to day. So what do we do instead is just pretend that it's all fine and go on kind of half living. I mean, good Lord, how many people do you know that don't in one way or another live in complete denial about, their, about what this nation is, is about? One of the things I do is oversee education in, our, in the prisons. And I've talked to many teachers in the prisons who tell me that they feel much safer teaching in prisons than they do in our public high school. There's no control over the children. The children have become our oppressors. That's one major sign that this world is close to coming to an end. You have some nations that you can't even touch your child. If you even touch your child, that child can sue you and be taken away from you. We have no respect uh, for parents as a general rule. We have no respect for authority. We have no discipline. We're losing our work ethic. I'll tell you who's going to take the most heat, in my opinion, for most people are their parents. Because the parents start with the slate, the clean slate. You got this tiny baby. This little thing that you set in, set in motion the course of their life. And you don't tell them about God. You don't tell them about heaven or hell or eternity or those vital things that affect their souls for eternity. That's just foolishness to my mind. It's hard to beat these signs the way I do it. It's a formidable little... Uh, sign. You know that Columbine massacre, well when that happened and Gore came out there and held a big rally and they had about a hundred thousand people the first few days after it happened, well we went out there and picketed that whole thing and were the center of it all. I mean those people were mad. And the message to them was, you taught these kids from the time they started school that it's okay to be gay. So therefore you busted their moral compass. The same God that said thou shalt not kill, said thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, and I fixed the death penalty for both sins. And you taught them that God didn't mean what he said about one, so if it's okay to be gay, it's okay to kill. You are teaching the kids in this evil place that it's okay to kill. Now you're reaping the harvest of that godless curriculum. That's what we was telling them as they passed by. See, now that is a very good sign. Some woman out there this morning was enraged over this sign. So we got one like this on sticks. See? And on these we're going to carry, on airplanes without sticks, I'm putting the priest on one side and the uh, black nuns on the other side. Anyway, that'd be very good stuff. It'll be on the front page of some paper.
brainwashed his family. He's totally off base. I think it's asinine. It's very obscene, and I think it should be stopped. It's just degrading for the town. I think it's uh, stupid. It's a real disgrace. It's pornographic, really. It's offensive. Personally, I find it offensive. I think it creates a lot of negative energy. <laughs> I'm telling you, these signs just shake these people up so bad. Seeing them flags flying upside down, they want everybody to think this is a wonderful country and everybody's going to heaven and all. <laughs> That's what they thought in old Sodom too, till the rain started. Looking at what happened in New York and reading anything in it other than a stroke of God's wrath upon this evil nation, an expression of his vengeance towards it is heresy. And anybody that interprets it any other way, other way than that will answer to the Lord God for it on the judgment day and including and particularly including uh, George W. Bush. Bush has done more to propel this country into final oblivion and doom under the wrath of God than all 43 presidents, including Clinton, put before him. All this chatter and this happy talk about how we're great people and we're a holy people and, and we're fighting evil and we're good and they're evil and we're gonna rebuild and not, rec not recognizing or even willing to concede that this is a monstrously sinful nation that has been punished by God and needs to repent. And the reason they can't repent is they've gone so far that the Lord says, I'm through with you. And in order to assure that you don't repent, I'm gonna send you strong delusion that you should believe a lie. This stuff that they're claiming to believe, that this monstrous sin of the Sodomites is merely an innocent alternate lifestyle, is such a profoundly soul-shattering lie that unless they had strong delusion, they would never believe it. And no intelligent, patriotic American will fly that flag any way but upside down. A bunch of uh, heathen idolaters that are making an incestuous, uh, idolatrous orgy of so-called uh, phony patriotism needs to be denounced needs to be squarely and roundly denounced from the scriptures that it is a great sin. God hates America. Have a nice day. <laughs>